Does everyone have something they can draw with? Pen, pencil, something like that? I don't care how bad at drawing you think you are. Everybody can draw a foot. We're going to learn to draw that foot. Okay? The basic architecture of the foot is rooted in this shape. It's a triangle. So you just draw three dots on your page. Leave enough space around it on the page for other stuff. Okay. Three dots. What are those three dots? I am going to put this foot on this surface and I'm going to bring it around at eye level so you all can see it. And I want you to look at the space between the foot and the surface. And notice that what you're seeing is mostly space, right? There's only three places where this entire structure is resting on that surface. So this would be like that. When we connect, those points, obviously we're going to get a triangle. If the points are where the weight is traveling downward through the skeletal system into the ground, then what do the lines represent? Arches. That's where the support of the earth can travel back up into the system, where there's a spring. These are spring-like structures. Right? And what particular function each of the points and arches serves will become clear when we look a little more deeply into the uh, overall structure of the foot. To uh, complete your drawing is very simple. Ta-da! It's a foot. Everyone can draw a foot. So you've got your initial foot strike, okay? This shtida part of the foot, okay? This lateral longitudinal arch that runs through it. Its job is to take that downward force of your weight coming into the surface and absorb it in that lateral longitudinal arch. And then what, what happens is there's a transfer across the transverse arch. It transfers it across the metatarsal arch and channels it out through the front of the foot. So you've got your heel strike, you roll out here to the outer arch, and then it channels across the transverse arch, and this is what's known as the push-off here. I'm just really simplifying the whole process. Now, you may quite rightly ask, well, what about this? What about the actual main big medial longitudinal arch? Well, if all of this occurs the way it was intended to occur, what you get is a big payoff. There's a big return of energy, meaning support, meaning ground force reaction, however you want to start it, back up into the system. That's what gets this big main spring activated. Now remember, this arrow isn't just pointing backward from the front of the foot towards the heel. Think of it coming off the board and coming this way, up into the body following that whole pathway of support. Okay, that we actually we've shown previously in the dissection video comes up through your core, the core line of support, the deep front line. Okay. So it's all of this that gets that to happen. And it's very interesting when you watch people walking and work with them walking from this perspective. And that's what I'd like to do with us for the uh, last section of class here, is to actually 
give you a practical demonstration of how all of these concepts come together in observing and working with human gait. We have a room full of humans. You all have feet. You all manage to walk here some way or other. So maybe we can do that. Yep. 